My name is Favor, and I reside here in Lagos. I want to bless the God of this great commission for his mighty hands towards my life and my family. Back forward to June this year, I came here when I was pregnant, so I came with my sister. Someone used uh, this church handbill to write an account number for me. So I saw the handbill, and ever since then, my spirit started disturbing me. Each time I would see mommy in her dream, and God kept telling me that she has something for me, she has a word for me, that I should go and meet her. So I never knew that the person that was close to me knew her very well. So immediately I showed her the handbill. She said, yes, that she knows her. I said, okay, I would like you to take me to her church. So we came together. I was sitting at the back. So immediately I stepped in. The noise at the back was much that day. So I wanted to change my position. Just as I was about to take a step, mommy came to me. He said to me, madam, they said that you will give birth through oppression. But on that day, do not accept. Because I see your enemy entering into the labor room. And on that fateful day, they will tell you, let's go and operate you. And through the process, you will give up. So she called me out here that day and she prayed for me. Then I kept on coming. The prophecy repeated thrice. So, but the third day, she conducted a deliverance service here for me. She conducted a deliverance here for me. So that same week, I went to the hospital because I was already due. So getting to the hospital on Friday, the doctor checked me. He said, Madam, you're already in labor. You can't go. Tell your brothers to bring your back. So I stayed in the hospital. The labor will start, it will stop. It keeps on happening like that. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, I was still in the hospital. Tuesday morning, I called the doctor. I said, I don't know what I'm doing here. Because whenever they come to check me, it's still the same issue. My baby head is not coming down. The service is still closed. But I'm seriously in labor. And each time it starts, it will stop. So I, I really understood that the devil came. So I told my sister to come on me. But when she called her, she's like she was busy, so we couldn't get her. And I went for scan that Tuesday morning. So that Tuesday morning, after the scan, I, I dropped my bag in the ward and I went home. I told them that I'm going home. I don't know what I'm doing in the hospital. Let me go, let me go home and settle with my God. So just as I got home, for me to change my dress, my water broke. I rushed down to the hospital that night again. Getting to the hospital, they said they can't touch me, that I will stay like that. So when they saw that my water has broken and my water has finished, they demanded for oppression. The same oppression that mommy told me that I should never agree them to do. They demanded to see my husband. So when my, I called my husband the, the next morning, he came. That was Tuesday morning. He came, and when he came, I told him once, and I said, I'm holding on to the word of the prophet. She said, there shall be no oppression. And that's the word I believe. When you get there, when they tell you to sign, do not sign. Because the family I come from, we don't do oppression. We deliver safely. Not hereditary something, but the family I come from in Christ. That was what I told him. So he came, he came back. He said, but your water are broken. And your baby can be weak. I said, my baby is not weak. And my baby can never be weak. And this thing case on happened that each time they check the heartbeat of my baby, is always normal. It's not coming down. Because mommy have already prophesied to me and told me that I would deliver peacefully. So because my husband refused to sign for oppression, the doctor angrily left me in the ward. He didn't attend to me. So I kept praying in my ward. I kept on talking to God. It's around 7 o'clock at night. I told God, I remember the preaching mommy did there. I said, God shall send forth a man like an angel to visit you. I prayed that prayer. I said, God, you spoke this word through the word of your servant. That you shall send an angel in form of a man. I said, before 7.30, let my angel visit me. I was in my ward. A nurse came in. A midwife, she knocked he said, my daughter, what are you doing here? I said, he said, you have no put to bed. I said, no. She said, follow me. They have been checking me since Friday. It's just 3 c.m. No, no, no sources or anything. No good result. Immediately, I entered the lab, favor room with that woman. She said, look at your baby's head. I said, that's a good news. 
Before then, the doctor had left me out of anger. He went downstairs. He never wanted to attend to me. I said, God, you have started this work and you will finish it. She checked my baby's heartbeat. My baby's heartbeat, instead of reducing it, kept on rising. He said, what kind of God is this? He said, your, miracle, your baby is a miracle baby. I said, yes, I, my baby is a miracle baby. We don't die like that. So immediately, before you know it, just because she has seen my baby's head, she started rushing. She started rushing. She came. She said, okay, you can do it. I said, no problem. He said, call upon your God. I just prayed a short prayer. I said, God, I don't need stress. I've already had a covenant with you. That on that day there shall be safe delivery. Confirm the word of your prophetess. Immediately she said, Oh, push. Just the third time my baby came out. Everything together with the placenta. And immediately my baby came out. Immediately my baby came out. His heartbeat never reduced. He was still strong. And, he, and immediately he came out. It was just the same time the doctor was opening the door. Immediately he opened the door and saw me. He was shocked. He said, Madam, have you delivered? I said, yes. I told her I would not pass through oppression. That I would deliver safely. He said, congratulations. I said, yes, that's the only thing that is permitted in my life. So I want to thank the God of this great commission. Because if mommy did not tell me that in that day, I would have been gone. Because the devil really came to take my life. But I want to thank God for saving my life. For saving the life of my child. And ever since then, there have been great miracles in our lives. Great turnarounds. And God has been doing great and mighty things in our family. So I want to return all the glory to this God of this great commission. He alone deserves all my praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.